I'm Dan Shapir. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Precise Finance. Uh, what we do is B2B embedded finance. Essentially, big financial institutions, they come to us to better evaluate smaller companies. Um, hopefully, the main idea is that by utilizing our system, we'll be able to eliminate some of the prejudice and the suffering that they're encountering since they're so small that nobody really wants to treat them because it's too expensive. And we do it using AI and different data platforms that we have. Since we have tons of data, because we integrate it to accounting and credit cards and banking and social profiles and whatnot, the amount of data that we had was too much for having manual handling of it. And we had a bunch of uh, rules, like uh, statistical rules on it, which worked to, an, to a limit, let's say. Uh, we used, started using SageMaker to explore the world of AI on it. And we knew quite well what we want to achieve, but since SageMaker didn't work directly with our database, the amount of work we had to do in AWS Glue or whatnot to move the data around, to look at it ready, was, was quite a pain, to be honest. And, and one of the biggest issues we have in our domain, uh, one of the main uh, fights we have with competitors is how much time does it take to you, for you to actually evaluate a, a smaller business. And basically the first one that will do it will win the, the contract, let's say. Now, moving data through an ETL process is lengthy. It will take time. We don't do it online because of cost uh, effects. And, and that really put us on a, on a bad edge. So MindsDB was able to work directly with our uh, Aurora database, with our Postgres, made a huge change. It was probably the first thing that made us consider MindsDB. And afterwards, it was the fact that it's easier and nicer and having it so, so SQL was like uh, the byproducts. The main thing was removing all the ETL process. There was AutoML by uh, Redshift, which was kind of the same issue because we needed to copy everything to Redshift. And we actually moved from RDS to Aurora because Aurora also have it. And then we don't need to move the data because everything will be in Aurora. Uh, but after we did all the effort, we started working with the AWS teams and solution architects. And they were like, well, there is a small caveat. It's only a small and tiny amount of different uh, models that you are able to run on it. So, so what we needed to get was just unfeasible on those platforms. So it basically kills the idea. We're still in Aurora, but uh, the idea of using an AutoML there wasn't just, wasn't possible. So we've been with MindsDB for quite a long time. We basically started almost two years ago, playing around, not directly talking with you guys. But when you, we dug deeper and we wanted to have specific models, much more complex ones, would it be bringing our own models or working with uh, part of the MindsDB team, Patricio specifically, and tuning specific ones much better and implementing them into the system, then we had like a huge jump in the level of accuracy and ease of use, which it's not something that we saw on any other platform. One of the main stuff that we are judged upon is how we are effective with the money that we're spending. Yeah. And by using MindsDB, and since we removed the ETL process and we kind of removed the ML ops process, we were able to also remove the need for data engineers and data scientists. And we migrated to the idea of uh, a domain expert, which is also our developer. They have been in the fintech industry for a long time. They really know the inside and out of fintech and finance and how payments work. So we were able to get much better results than what we had using data scientists. Which is funny because think of it, data scientists should have been much better. But the, the edge that they have on the domain expert was much stronger than the advantage of a data scientist knowing Python and models, right? So that was a big one.